let's let's hear your story. How did how did Dart come about? Because I don't th I think that's something we really haven't covered yet. It's actually kind of an interesting story, right? Uh, so um, for a while, uh, I joined Google to uh, to help build the, the V8 JavaScript engine for for Chrome to try to make uh, client side web based applications run a lot faster. And there are a lot of things we could do there. I think we did a, like a reasonable job in making uh, JavaScript faster in, in the browser. But there are still some issues we, uh, we could see uh, with internal teams using JavaScript at Google. So in many ways, we saw big teams producing uh, high-quality apps, uh, but they were not super efficient at doing so. So even fairly simple apps like you could say Gmail, on the, at least on the outlooks of things, are, is a fairly simple app. It took a fairly big engineering team to build that. And it was costly to maintain it across a lot of browsers. And it was a somewhat painful process. So coming from a, a language perspective and a language background, it felt like that was an opportunity to try to produce something, a software stack based on a new programming language. It was just an inherently more productive environment to, to be in. So that was the, uh, the starting point of it. Basically, being a little bit uh, uneasy about whether or not big companies could produce like really big web apps in a language like JavaScript and be efficient at it. Um, and we felt like having looked at the options that doing a new language was, was the best way out. Yeah, well, one of the things I've discovered, I'm not, I don't consider myself an expert in JavaScript, but I'm, uh, I'm always sort of annoyed by all of its subtle problems and the fact that you, know, you have to layer something on top of it to get classes uh, traditional classes and and it, it just it, for me it doesn't feel like it scales and I'm amazed uh, Google has done as much with it as they have and, or any uh, any large corporation anyway so what was the what was the trigger there to then say let's let's build a new language and how did how did that process come about well I mean most of the founding team here was uh, very much in the in the virtual machine space uh, basically we got up in the morning to to optimize languages and we also felt like there was a good opportunity to create something that was just a faster runtime system for um, for, uh, for modern language. Um, so uh, we came at it from a, a performance perspective initially, uh, but over time it, it turned out that the productivity angle, uh, the fact that people do not have to struggle too much with subtle issues in the, in the core of their language is a real big help, especially when your team size grows. Uh, so we found that that focus on productivity and making people efficient at building big things was really, really uh, valuable and good. So that was basically um, like the, the first sort of sm small turning point in the dot uh, life cycle, you could say, where we uh, where we found that uh, uh, it really appealed to uh, big teams also at Google um, to get a more productive software stack. Uh, 